John Davis is a Mahjong enthusiast and artist. He designed Maj Mania, a party game that temporarily changes the rules of Mahjong. In this day in the life of a Mahjong player, we're going to try it out in a game of solitaire. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I asked John what inspired him to create Maj Mania. He said that he noticed players tend to play the easy hands, or maybe they play their favorites or their favorite category again and again. He also said that the game tends to reward luck instead of skill. So he created Maj Mania to keep players on their toes and reward skill instead of luck. Set up your game as normal. Build the walls, roll the dice to see who is the dealer. Then take the cards out of the box and separate the decks. We have Maj Mania cards. Player cards. exposure cards and game cards. East will deal three player cards to each player. The players can read those cards, but keep them secret. They'll be used in the pick and discard phase of the game where one or more card can be used to either change the rules of the game or prevent another player from using one of their cards. Let's look at the cards for East. Prevent a Joker exchange from your exposure. Double your score for a Mahjong in the addition hand section. Stop the Charleston at any point. Okay, so we're going to force addition for East. Double score. South. Stop the Charleston at any point. Play with an extra child drawn from the wall. Take an extra turn. Wow, that could be very helpful. <laughs> West. Double your score for a Mahjong in consecutive run section. Everyone passes one tile to the left. One away card. One away. Substitute this card for any tile to complete a Maj. Okay, double for consecutive. So we're going to force consecutive for West. North. Start a one pass Charleston in any direction. Use a joker with a pair in, in a Maj. Everyone passes one tile to the right. Okay. Very good. East will also deal three exposure cards to each player. These cards are not to be read. They're to be saved until the pick and discard phase of the game. If a player makes an exposure, they will read out loud one of those cards. If they decide to use it, they'll do whatever the card says. When a player makes an exposure, one of their exposure cards is read out loud. They follow the instructions or discard it. If a player makes an exposure and forgets to draw an exposure card, any other player can claim it. If more than one player wants the card, the player next in turn gets it. When this occurs, that player follows the instructions on the card and then they begin their turn. This means other players can be skipped.
oh, these we don't look at. These we look at when we make an exposure. East rolls the dice to break the wall. If the sum of the dice is four or higher, the tiles to the right of the break become the Majmania wall. The Majmania cards are placed by that wall. When the game progresses to that point, the top card is flipped and the game finishes per the instruction on the card. I rolled a 10. We have a Majmania wall. Majmania comes with dice. This is actually a die within a die. Here I rolled a four. The inside die is a six. We'll use this if we get there. I will break the wall at 10. The last step for setup is that East draws a game card. It is laid on the table so that everybody can see it. And the game is played per the instructions on that card. No Charleston, no Charleston, hit the ground running. I'm going to deal the tiles now. East will get 14 tiles. Southwest and North will get 13 each. Then we'll look at each player's hand, see where the strengths lie, pick a category to play, maybe even a hand. Everybody has their tiles. Here, we need to force addition. Let's see if we have flowers. No flowers. Pairs of dragons, five, six, one. That's our only hope right there. Maybe eight, five, 13. If we can get a three crack or a one bam, we're going to have to break these up. We'll keep all the addition tiles. A two might help if we can get sevens. So we're just going to keep all these. Let's break up the pairs. We're going to force addition. Let's see what we can do for south. No Charleston. This is all joker bait. We are going to just start discarding. All right, here. Here we need to stop the Charleston, maybe take an extra turn, extra tile. Okay, no forcing here. We could play whatever we want. Two, four, two, three, two, four. I think we're going to break. Oh, discards. No Charleston. That is gonna be really hard to get used to. We're just gonna hit the ground running with what we have, consecutive run. Or like numbers with twos. If we get ones, we might be able to play a year hand. Let's see what we can do for West. This is, I think, where we force consecutive run. Yes, consecutive run. 
for this player. We have a pair of sixes, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. Discards. Since there's no Charleston. Now let's look at the tiles for North. Single flower, single wind, single dragons, dots with a pair of sevens, two bams, four crack nine, singles. I think five, seven, nine, big odds. Let's hold big odds. Maybe the dragons. There is a mixed suit, big odds hand, fourth one down. We might be able to use those. So we can discard those. We start with East. Now we look at the cards. Stop the Charleston, prevent a Joker exchange. That's it. So they don't have any other player cards. Stop the Charleston, prevent a Joker exchange. And we are forcing addition. If we can get a seven, we have a one, two. 5, 7, 12. Let's start by discarding 4 crack. And it's this player's turn. Here, play with an extra tile drawn from the wall and take an extra turn. All right, so we're going to begin our turn by picking. We got a 1. Now, we're going to use this play with an extra tile from the wall five we got a keeper maybe one two three four so now we're just going to do this right off the bat take an extra turn so we're going to play that but we need to discard first so we're going to discard seven bam and then we're gonna play a card. Take an extra turn. We got a five bam. So we have an extra tile, we got an extra turn. We have to discard. Let's discard nine dot and give up on year potential. I think two through five is best. Four numbers in a range around the multiple. We could play two, three, four consecutive run mixed suit Kongs, third hand down under consecutive run. We discarded a nine dot. Nobody can take it, so it's this player's turn. One bam. We won't want to play consecutive run here. Oh, we're not forcing consecutive. We're just playing what we have. Here, we're forcing consecutive. Everyone passes one tile to the left. Okay, well, let's play that and do it since we didn't do a Charleston. One tile to the left. Let's keep the dragons and pass a nine. Because we're forcing addition here. We'll pass a one. Big numbers. We got little numbers. Let's pass a three. That's benign. Here, let's pass an eight. Here, we want to play big odds. You know, we could just as easily play consecutive. Seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's keep that eight. Let's pass a four. So, passing to the left. One. We got a 13. It's mixed suits, mixed suits here. One suit here. Discard Joker Bait. If you want to know more about Joker Bait, this is a term coined by Tom Sloper of Sloperama. 
There are links in the video description below to some videos that demonstrate how it works. It's basically how you can get jokers in your hand by keeping pairs that you don't need. Later in the game, like middle game, someone will, will discard one of these and then someone will make an exposure with a joker. And on our next turn, we exchange it with our other tile. It's hit or miss, but it's fun to try. Let's, let's see what we got here. We got a keeper, three consecutive tiles, two through five. We have joker bait. We're going to have to make a choice. No keeper there, but we did get joker bait. And we do have consecutive run, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. Let's change our range. Two, three, four, three, four, five, six. We don't really need these. Usually I'd work in a range around four numbers around the multiple. So let's, let's work on three, four, five, six, and we'll discard these. Especially because we have no sevens to join our multiple with the bigger numbers. We have a joker. Okay, well, let's see what we have here. We got a big number, big odds. All right, we played that card. We have a one away card and a double your score for consecutive. So we need to discard. One bam, one bam, nobody can take it. So we're gonna draw four north. Six crack. That is consecutive, five through nine. It's a bit of a long range, five numbers, mixed suits. If it's five numbers in one suit, that's okay because there are a few hands that use one suit with four or five numbers. With mixed suit, either the fives or the nines would go. Here we do have a discard though, but let's look here first. Start a a one pass Charleston in any direction. Okay, let's, let's do it. One pass. So we went left. Let's go across. Oh no, we went, oh, we did do left. Okay, so let's go, let's go across. So we'll pass those three. Let's pass. Oh, that's not so good. All right, I think no matter how you slice that, it's gonna be risky. Here, we're gonna to have to make a decision unless we stop the Charleston. We can stop the Charleston. We would have to make a decision and break up our joker bait. Let's see, if we build around this two, two, three, two, three, two, three, four, mix suit Kongs, or two, three, two, three, if we can get two dots. Like, uh, let's see, we're supposed to, we need to force consecutive, two, three, two, three, process of elimination, we could pass three and focus on two, three, four. Two, three, four with these tiles. And pass these three. Here, we can stop the Charleston. We have options and dragons. Okay, we're gonna block it and stop it because I do not wanna pass two dragons. unless we can pass blind. It doesn't say you can't. It just says a Charleston pass. Let's pass one blind and not stop. 
So east and west pass. Let's pass a one and an eight. We're not passing blind, we're negotiating. No, wait, let's see here. Oh, we're passing blind. So you can't pass blind on, an, on a cross. How do you pass blind? You can't pass blind on a cross. So that won't work. We have to pass three. All right. Okay. We'll just pass two dragons. Very risky. Okay, we did it. Let's see if it paid off. It did. Oh my goodness, look. Five, six, eleven, or eight, thirteen. Discards. We have choices. So it helped them. We got a two. We have a pung. Consecutive run. That's what we want here. Two, three, four consecutive run Kongs. These are discards. We are looking for three, four, five, six. We really wanted a five bam here. Three, four, five, six, two suits, second hand down. Let's just hold these and see if we can get a joker out of them. We can discard those. Paid off here. Five, five, nine, seven. We've got a pung. Five, seven, seven, nine. Pung Kong, Pung Kong, second hand down. We don't have to commit to that though. We have tiles to discard before we have to pick a hand. So that paid off for them. Now we just passed. We have another one. Everyone passes one tile to the right, but I think we should wait. Let's wait until people are getting rid of their initial discards and picking fresh tiles from the wall. So let's discard four dot. And we'll draw down here. Five crack. That could be a keeper, maybe. What we really need is a five bam, so we can use the eight or or a six bam. So we could do six bam, five crack, one dot. So we have options. We maybe could even keep that. Let's discard nine bam. I don't think we could have played that. Okay. Now drawing four south, north. We don't need these winds. Let's just get rid of those now. North. Okay, four. We're trying to force consecutive run here. Three, four. We've got a gap, no five. Okay, maybe we should keep the two. Cons it is consecutive, two, three, four. Use this as joker bait. Let's discard the nines. That's way out of our range. Drawing for north. Joker. Oh yeah, let's see. Five, seven, seven, nine. Let's see, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight consecutive run. There are two nine bams out. We wouldn't have been able to take it. We just drew the joker. We really don't need this green dragon. Let's wait. Yeah, because we don't have the right tiles here for a mixed suit hand. The fourth one down, five, seven crack, seven, nine dot green dragon. That's, we're way too light. I wouldn't commit to that with one dragon. So 
we're going to discard the dragon. Drawing for east. Nine crack. No. No nines in addition. East. Eight crack. We have a lot of two, four, six, eight. Look at all this two, four, six, eight. Well, let's just keep it. We'll see what happens. Maybe we can just let the consecutive run go and just try to win with anything. We're kind of lacking twos though. We'll see. We have discards so we don't have to decide. Let's draw. We can't take that nine. Flower. Okay, flower. Seven. Eight. Let's discard this nine. Ugh, this is painful. Let's see. The flowers are driving at the moment. The flowers and the seven. Let's discard nine. Bam. Maybe we should play like numbers and hope for a seven crack. I hate doing that this early, but we did not do a Charleston. So let's draw here. Flower. Well, we need that for addition. Let's discard green dragon. Nobody wanted it. Eight crack. No, we want little numbers. Let's discard this west. These can all go. Here's a two through five mixed suits. We're going to have to whittle this out. So discards. Drawing for west. Nine crack. Our multiples with four and six. We need three through six, two through six. Let's discard the green dragon. And we'll get rid of the white one. Drawing for north. Three dot. That's not going to help. We have big numbers. Three dot. Drawing four east. One crack. Okay, we don't need a pair of one cracks, really. Unless we get a six bam. We have discards here, so let's discard the white dragon. Let's see what happens. That's a keeper. Three. Two, three, two, three, two, three. If we can make that work, we'd have to throw away a two. This would be the second hand from the bottom under consecutive run. And we're forcing, let's see. No, we're not forcing anything here. We can play whatever we want. We have a pair of flowers. We really don't need this dragon since we have the flowers. This is where we're forcing consecutive run. South. Having wins is not helpful. Drawing four north. One dot. I don't think that's going to be helpful. We have a pung of sevens. One dot. Down here, we're playing addition. We're not taking that. Eight bam. Okay, here we go. We got it. Eight, five, 13. Joker bait. Oh, gee. Jo Joker bait there. Unless we get a three dot. Keep the six for an option. We've got a two fives. We have no sevens. Let's get rid of the two bam. Can't take it here. Nine bam. If we had ones, I might even consider a year hand, but this pung of twos and a pair of flowers, 
that needs to drive the hand. Let's discard nine bam. There are three out. No year hand here. We got a two crack. Two, four, six, eight. I'm thinking maybe we should forget about the consecutive run unless we fill in with fives. Let's discard white dragon. We have two, four, six, eight, no gaps. If we get flowers, we might even be able to play a pair hand, even though we have a four and a six that are extra. Let's just wait and see what happens. I don't know if I'd play a pair hand here, though, because we have a joker. Let's draw. That is not helpful. Two, bam. Nobody's ready for it. Right here is the only place it would have been nice. Nope, four. No fours in addition. Four, bam. Joker. Oh, okay. Oh, I just thought, I just realized two, three, white. We could have played two, three, white, but we have way more tiles for two, three, two, three. Let's, let's get rid of the eight crack. We'll stick with two, three, two, three, or two, three, four, mix suit Kongs. Let's draw. Four, bam. We don't need a nine. We have evens here, no fives. Five, seven, nine, five, seven, seven, nine. Let's get rid of the evens and focus on big odds. Six crack. Down here, it's this player's turn, but here we have two, four, six, eight. No other multiples. I think we're better off maybe to play two, four, six, eight. Use this as joker bait, but we need flowers. This would be the fourth hand down, fourth hand down under evens. I would not call the six. We have no buildup of our eight and we have no flowers. At least here we can use two multiples for the two, four, six, eight mixed suit with flowers. And again, that is the fourth hand down under evens. So let's let it go and draw. Yeast. Nine dot. Okay. Hmm. Two nine flowers. That doesn't work. Let's discard. No, oh, nine dots been thrown. Two out. Let's get rid of it. Drawing four west. Three crack. Okay. Two, three, four, three, four. We have to make a choice now. Three, four, four, joker bait, two, six. This is kind of sticking out like a sore thumb. Let's get rid of six dot and get rid of the dot suit and focus on cracks and bams. We're in between consecutive run and evens. Let's draw. I don't think anybody can take the six. No. Red, five, seven, seven, nine bams are all out. Red dragon. Flower. Very nice. Okay. We have still a long way to go. Okay, let's discard. Let's discard one bam. One dot. Okay. One, two, three Kongs. Two, three, two, three. Let's get rid of seven dot. 
it's this player's turn, but this player could Kong that. If we did Kong it, we would need to commit to something or make sure we plan it out. We could do like numbers with sevens. We do have all the sevens. Or we could do seven, eight, nine, mixed suits. Or we could do five, six, seven. We have no sixes. So going from five to seven with no sixes, that's not good. We could maybe do seven, eight, two dra white dragons are out. We really could do, oops, we could do five, seven, seven, nine, five, seven, seven, nine, second hand down. Okay, let's Kong and then make it work with either like numbers with sevens using the flowers or big odds. Five, seven, seven, nine, pung, kong, pung, kong. There's an, there are two nine cracks out. So I think like numbers is gonna be the best idea here. And we just need to draw. Now we made an exposure. So let's look at an exposure card. Make your next discard unclaimable. Okay, well, that's fine. This is safe. We might even be able to use it. We've got sevens. We do have a joker for a white dragon if we can get eights. Let's give up one of these fives. Five bam. And we're gonna turn it to the side, making it unclaimable. It's still early in the game, so, and in this case, as you can see, nobody wants it anyway. All right, we're gonna draw four east. Six dot, oh, okay. Now that is the strongest that we have right now. Five, six, 11 with flowers. Joker bait, joker bait, discards. Five, six, 11. Five, eight, if we can get a three, 13 with equal potential. Let's discard these tiles. Three crack. Up here, we could pung, but we have ugh, no other pairs. We have options. Okay, two, three. I'd rather Kong the two. There's a three dot out. There are, there's, that's the first three crack out. Let's let it go and draw. Four dot, two, three, four, or one, two, three. Let's discard, since we have the flowers, let's discard five bam. I was thinking we could do two, three, four, five, but a five bam's been thrown and we'd have to throw away a pair of flowers. Let's leverage the flowers. We're gonna build around the flowers. Let's draw four west. Six crack. I think we should give up on the consecutive run and play two, four, six, eight. We have so many pairs. We really don't need this two though. Let's discard that. Two dot. Now it's this player's turn, but here, I think we should go ahead and Kong. We're gonna force one, two, three, or two, three, four. So we Konged. We are going to look at an exposure card. Exchange one tile from your hand with any discarded tile. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Let's see, what do we have to choose from? There's a one out and a three out. We could use either. Let's take the three in case someone's playing a year hand. And then 
Here we're committing to dots so we can get rid of all these. Let's exchange it with a four. So I'm gonna exchange the three with a four. Now we discard four, four, four. We are playing with an extra tile. Let's discard three bam. And nobody wants it. Drawing. I would love to draw a five. A five of some kind would be fabulous. Let's let's draw. A seven. <laughs> oh my goodness. Six seven. We've got an eight in here. Oh, painful. Okay, no, let's get rid of it. Seven, bam. Seven, bam. We have a one away card. Oh, seven, bam. We're not ready for it. We have to draw. Six dot. Six, seven, eight, mixed suits. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven, mixed suits. One suit, or not mixed suit, one suit or six seven eight options let's discard nine crack those are all out last tile of that full wall oh my goodness look at we got a five okay we need jokers or build up these let's discard the eight crack here we have a stop the Charleston card. We have Joker bait and a discard. Five, six, eleven. Drawing for South. five we have the flowers we want one two three or two three four these should go away these have been discarded five bam out and this player that would have been nice eight crack okay yeah no no more consecutive run considerations here i think we should maybe play wow look at this six eight we have no flowers for the two hands I'm thinking about, the first one and the fourth one, they both have flowers. Let's go ahead and discard three crack and we'll just see what happens. Drawing up here, two crack, discard. Here, it would have been nice, but we're not ready. We're gonna need jokers if we play the fourth one down two four six eight we need a kong of twos let's draw joker we got a joker nice okay we're gonna discard five crack okay we can kong one of these oh <laughs> we still need another one we need some help here and we need another flower let's draw North, no. Nobody wants wins. At least they're safe. Drawing for West. Let's hope for a flower. Flower, flower. Joker, that'll do. That will do. Let's get rid of the three crack. We're going to have to make a decision here in a minute. We'll just see. Drawing for North. Joker! Okay. Here we're going to have to make a decision soon here five crack we need some multiples in here let's draw three bam we got rid of that one bam a while ago seven bam I think this has been thrown. Seven bam. Two are two have been thrown. It's this player's turn, but two have been thrown. 
So do we take it and commit or do we go on this side with five, six, seven or six, seven, eight? So we got to look at what's out there. There's a six dot out. There are no eight dots out. There are two seven bams out. There are three seven bams out. At least it's known and we can keep our jokers. Oh, no, I think we should go the other way because we could use this as dragons if we pair up. There are two white dragons out. If we had a white dragon, we might be able to use that. So let's give up on like numbers and not take it. Let's draw. Six bam. Oh my gosh, this is very difficult. We don't need a pung there. Let's see. We have to make a choice. We have no sevens. Let's discard the six bam. Green dragon, not helpful. That's been thrown. Joker, okay. We can Kong. All we need is a flower. Let's discard one crack and nobody wants it. Eight dot. Nobody's want, wanting these. Let's get rid of the two bam and these. Two bam, no. Flower. Wow. Okay. Now, two, four, six, eight, three flowers. Here, we could pung, kong, and use this for the flower. That hand is set. Pung of flowers, pair. Now let's look and see how many twos are out. There's one two crack out. One two crack is out. If we did a pair of flowers, you know what? We have no risk. Wait, the risk if we go with two, four, six, eight, and a pair of flowers, the risk is that with flowers, but we have eight flowers and only one is out. If we played this hand, the very first one, the risk is this two, but we could pung and kong and even, and even pung here. There's only one two out, one flower out, which is also a concern. Let's, let's focus on the one suit and discard six bam. Four, 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 one. Okay, we're going to Kong here, Pung here, Pung here, ready to win. South. West. Joker. Okay. Okay, we can Kong, maybe. Let's get rid of three crack. Nobody wanted that. Flower, very nice. Okay, good, good, good. Discarding six bam, which nobody wanted. So we're ready to Pung and Kong here. Eight crack. I don't remember if these have been out yet. Let's get rid of the seven bam. Five bam. Two crack. We have a two here. Eight dot. Let's discard eight dot. Okay, it's this player's turn, but here we can Kong. Let's Kong. We gotta make a move. Kong. 
exposure card. Make your next discard unclaimable. Okay. Seven crack. Seven crack. I guess actually the eight crack would have been better. <laughs> but the sevens I was thinking defensively and I think the sevens Actually, there's, there are no sevens out either, so it was six, one, half dozen, the other. There is an eight crack out, actually. Let's draw. Five crack. Drawing four south. Six crack, no, six crack. Up here, we're gonna pong. Pong, exposure card. Withdraw one of your exposures. Well, we just made an exposure, so we'll withdraw it, I guess, right there. Now we're going to discard four bam. Okay, four bam up here, drawing. Oh, we can exchange three dot, discard. Down here, let's draw an exchange, please. Thank you. Now that's risky because we have a pure, pure exposures up there, but we are now ready to win. We can win on any one of these tiles now. Hold on. Double your score for addition, prevent an exchange. We don't have any exposures. So let's discard East. We're ready to win on a flower. Let's see here, no, we're one away. We're still one away, I think. Four, 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 one. One, two, three, yeah, we're good. Okay, let's draw. Red dragon. Oh, I could have taken a Kong on that three dot. Oh, I missed it. South. Six bam, those have been thrown. One crack, nobody wants it. West. One bam. South. East. Nine dot. Eight bam. North. We actually have, everybody passes one tile to the right. Let's play it. We have a couple tiles. One tile to the right, discard, 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 discard. Okay. So, here we go. No keeper, no keeper, keeper. They're ready to win. We have a one away card. Let's see what they got, nothing. Okay, so on this player's next turn, they can win. Let's discard four bam. Drawing down here. West. Drawing here. North. Whoops. Okay. It's this player's turn. We made it to the Maj Mania wall. We have to read the Maj Mania card. No change. Okay, we're gonna draw five dot, but 
we have a one away card. Mahjong. Because we have this card that is to substitute for any tile to complete Maj, maybe the flower. So that's an extra tile. Mahjong. First hand under evens. We couldn't pair up. Even if I had gotten that three, we would not have been able to finish with the one because it's here and the four. I think the fours, where are they? One was thrown really early on in the game and the rest are in the wall. So who knows if they would have gotten that, I don't know. They're pretty far away though. What a clever way to play Mahjong. It really kept me on my toes and I'm by myself. I think this would be so much fun to play with friends, whether it's a regular game or a special event. John, kudos to you for creating this amazing game, Maj Mania. It's crazy. If you wanna buy one for yourself, you can do that through John's Facebook page, Maj On My Mind. John also has an online store at Zazzle where he sells products with his art. John also recently launched an e-zine called MJ Diva. Look for information in the video description below for all these things. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next day in the life of a Mahjong player, may all your picks be keepers.